Hi guys, Andre here with another quick video. I just want to talk about uh, laptops and uh, older ones that uh, are slow and sluggish and uh, that can be saved. This is a uh, Acer uh, 75750G and I've had this, this is about a 2013 model and it served me well. The screen, the graphics is good, everything is good. But yeah, getting to start up, starts up in about a minute and a half, and uh, even with 8GB of RAM, it, that's what it does. Now these are little SSD hard drives, they've become pretty cheap now, they used to be very, very expensive, but now they've actually become pretty cheap, and uh, really good to give your laptop a bit more life. Now... Uh, these are solid state drives, and the first thing you'll feel is they are very light. This is only a uh, 120 gig. Uh, what's in here at the moment is a 500, a 640. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a difference now. But what you just need to do is buy one of these uh, little cases. So all I'm going to do basically after this, take the hard drive out of that one, put it inside this case, so you still have that extra storage. And this, just have your essential programs on there for it to run nicely. I'll do you a quick uh, how to do it, which is uh, very simple. But uh, the other thing is also some of the hard drives you'd buy would come with programs. would actually transfer the what's on the laptop to this box, which will then, so you'll put your solid state drive in there and transfer everything. But you would need to have a bigger drive, a bigger S, uh, SSD, solid state drive, than what the actual laptop's one is. Otherwise you can't, because you can't transfer, obviously you can't transfer 640 gig onto 120 gig, that's just not going to work. But uh, I have a Windows 10 disk, so I'm just going to do a complete install, but that's just the way I'm going to do it. You guys, if you've got a Windows 7 dead disk still, you could do a fresh install with Windows 7 if you like, if you want to just put all your main files over you can but that's for a whole nother video i'm just going to show you quickly how to do the actual solid state drive and then I'll also show you a comparison in startup between the one and the other one so let's get into it Okay, so taking your laptop, just flip it over. You would need a Phillips head screwdriver. In this one, you would just loosen, remove these two screws. And just pop this cover off. Now with the cover off, you'll notice the uh, hard drive sits there. That's for your Wi-Fi. And there's two 4 gig RAMs. So there's 8, eight gig of RAM there. These are your aerials that run to the actual screen for the Wi-Fi. So with this one, with, with those two screws loose, it's quite easy to just to pull the old hard drive out. Like that. And that's basically it and as you can see on there that's 640 it's going to be replaced with that one oh, instead of round might be better 120 which is not a no big deal really so you would need to remove it's probably not the ideal place to work So you just remove the four outer screws. Be careful that these are, you only use these short ones as you don't want. Let me put that one down there. You don't want them going too far into the actual casing. And you obviously just, you would need to check how this one came out. So this one's going to go back in that way. So with the cover on top, comes this way around.
You don't over tighten them, there's no reason to to mutilate them. And obviously have the have this laptops obviously switched off and unplugged. You don't want any static build up or anything in it. Make sure there is no static build up. So you would basically then do is just slide the new hard drive in. Simple as that. Replace the cover. Take this casing, put your hard drive inside there, slide that over, there's two screws that go in there, I don't have them right with me now, and then you would use that to transfer transfer files. So basically now, you would just switch it over, but you'd then, from now on, this thing will not boot because the it's got an operator rating system on it all, so this will not work. And um, so you'd need either a uh, Windows 7 disk or Windows 8 or Windows 10, whichever one you've got, to get this to operate again. And then you'd have all your backup files and things will all still be on there. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick comparison of the uh, speed and then we'll come back. Well guys, there you have it, that's pretty easy. As you can see, new life into an old laptop. And uh, yeah, that makes a big difference. Programs run faster, the computer runs cooler, the battery lasts longer. It, uh, it's a win-win all the way around. So, if you like the video, please subscribe below. Thanks guys, cheers.